Okay, this is a question from the 2023 AS Chemistry paper. It's kind of a back titration crossed with a uh, percentage by mass calculation. So let's get into it. It's six marks. So magnesium hydroxide is used uh, as an antiacid to treat indigestion. A student does an experiment to determine the percentage by mass of magnesium hydroxide in an indigestion tablet. We've got 40 centimeter cubed, that's the volume, and we've got 0.2 mole per decimeter of hydrochloric acid in excess. Now, once you're given volume and concentration, you should think of N over C times V, which is how to calculate the moles. Now, this hydrochloric acid is reacted with a 0.2 gram powder tablet. That's obviously containing the magnesium hydroxide, so that's an impure tablet. Uh, all of the magnesium hydroxide in the tablet reacted with the HCl in this reaction below. And we can see there's a two to one ratio here. That's the important thing. Now, the amount of HCl remaining at the end of this reaction, remember it was in excess, is titrated with sodium hydroxide. We'd be given the volume and concentration again. So this should also remind us we're going to have to use this triangle we've already written out, C times V. Uh, calculate the percentage by mass of magnesium hydroxide in the indigestion tablet. Six marks. Let's go. Stick around. I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. Okay, so well, first step, you start at the bottom with these back titrations. When they do a titration on an excess, you start at the bottom. So we're going to do 29.25. We're going to divide that by 1,000 because that's centimeter cubed. We want to turn it into decimeters. Now you can just put this in your scientific calculator and times this by the concentration, which is 0 0.1. Uh, make sure you use brackets, otherwise you're going to get the wrong answer. And then you get your moles of sodium hydroxide. So 29.25 divided by 1,000 times 0 0.1. We're going to get 2.925 times 10 to the minus 3. Now, they're the moles of sodium hydroxide. Now, remember the sodium hydroxide reacted with the remaining hydrochloric acid. And as you can see from the equation I'm writing here, that's a one-to-one -one reaction. And you can tell that because, uh, yeah, it's one-to-one. -one. one hydroxide ion with one hydrogen ion. It's a one-to-one -one reaction. Now, this tells us that the remaining HCl was 2.925 times 10 to the minus 3 moles, the same as the sodium hydroxide. So now what we want to do, as we have the remaining HCl, we want to work out what the original amount of HCl was that originally reacted with the powdered tablet. Yeah, we need to find the original. 40 centimetres, which is the volume. Turn it into decimeters, so we need to divide by 1,000 again. And then multiply by 0 0.2 mole per decimeters. And that should give us uh, 8 times 10 to the minus 3. Or you could call it 0 0.008. And that is the moles of the original hydrochloric acid that we reacted with the indigestion tablet containing the magnesium hydroxide. Now, if we check out the ratio, it's 2 to 1 in the equation. This means that if we take the original and we subtract the remaining that we worked out at the start, we'll find how much hydrochloric acid reacted with the magnesium hydroxide. And we do that by taking the original hydrochloric acid we started with minus the leftover or remaining hydrochloric acid. And then we get the amount of hydrochloric acid that reacted with the magnesium hydroxide in the indigestion tablet. And if we do 8 times 10 to the minus 3, take away 2.925 times 10 to the minus 3, we get 5.075 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. So that's how much hydrochloric acid reacted with the magnesium hydroxide. Now, if we check the equation, it's 2 to 1. So we need to divide by 2 to find the amount of moles of magnesium hydroxide we originally had. You can see here, um, 5.075 times 10 to the minus 3, and then we need to divide that by 2, and we're going to get 2.5375 times 10 to the minus 3. So that's how many moles of magnesium hydroxide were in the 0.2 powdered tablet. I need to turn that into mass so we can do the percentage mass calculation. So remember the equation mass over MR times moles. We need to work out the MR of magnesium hydroxide. So that's Mg, which is 24, plus 
oxygen, which is 16, and hydrogen, which is 1, which is 17, times 17 by 2, because there's a 2 outside the bracket, so we've got 34, plus 24 is 58. We want to times 58, which is the MR, times the moles of magnesium hydroxide, and we'll get the mass. And the mass of magnesium hydroxide is 0 0.147 and a few other numbers on your calculator, and that's in grams. So we want to find out what percentage of the original 0.2 gram impure powder tablet was magnesium hydroxide. So we do 0 0.147 over 0 0.200 times by 100. And you're going to get something like 73.5%. It's probably best to round this to two significant figures. So we can call that 74%. And there we go. Boom. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, share, like. Let's get to the marks. You're still here? It's over.